I know what you're wondering. And yes, I did know Sylvia Plath. Intense, perceptive, strange, blonde, lovely Sylvia. Already she has been dead too long. It seems she killed herself by turning on the gas. As she tried this once before, one can't be too surprised. After all, she had the suicide inside her. But if we're lucky, something or someone forces us to live. We both grew up in Wellesley, but we didn't meet until much later when we were both in Robert Lowell's poetry class at Boston University. We orbited around the class silently, and then we would pile into my old Ford and drive to the Ritz to drink two or four or three martinis. I would always park at a loading zone sign and tell them, it's okay because we're gonna get loaded. <laughs> Sylvia and I would talk at length about our first suicides, at length, in detail, in depth, between the free potato chips. Suicides have a special language. Like carpenters, they want to know which tools. They never ask, why build? We were just two barflies talking of death, not creation. I take myself back to her death, like salt. Fury of guitars and sopranos. Thank you. 